because we don't have the prison yet, so I do need to remind people that we have a crocodile farm, and indeed, that fence is by no means crocodile-proof. You, sir... Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Tropico 6 in the beta version of it, and I thought we'd start by the crocodile farm, just to remind my citizens, my beloved citizens here in the glorious free state of Tropico, that we have a crocodile farm. Just remember that. Remember that. Let, let, let's get this thing moving along here. As we start this, a little bit of a behind the scenes, if we will, a little bit of what's going on with Tropico. As I'm recording this, Penultimo, I'm, do I'm addressing the people, Penultimo, I am addressing the people. I'll read your thing in a second. As I'm recording this, the beta is about to close tomorrow. So I have basically about 24 hours to record as much Tropico 6 beta as I humanly can, and I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to basically be power recording this for the next few hours and see how much of this game I can get done before I lose it completely. So if you are commenting on the next few episodes, please keep doing that. I love the comment section. You guys really are into Tropico, and I'm really into Tropico. It's such a fun game, but understand I will probably not have the time to react to those comments. So the episodes that you're seeing in the next few episodes of Tropico 6, if you're commenting on them and I'm not taking your advice, that's why. I'm bulk recording these in one fell swoop. So, Penultimo, what exactly do you want from me? An election? An election, you say? Oh, okay. It's time for an election. Well, my approval rating is slipping. Just just a tiny little bit there. 69%. I know my people are beloved and, and they love me. I love them. They love me. We all love the crocodile farm and we particularly love the fact that we have Stonehenge now, but 69% is a little lower than I would like. Is it because I blew all our money on Stonehenge, Penultimo? Well, you'll thank me for that later when the tourists come flocking in. But no, I am confident in my leadership abilities. We will have an election, and I will deliver a speech. My election speech. What is the issue that I want to focus on for my people of Tropico? Well, what are you wicked sad about, frankly? You're really into liberty. We have a lot of liberty. Job happiness. Now, we have full employment here in Tropico. We, we absolutely have full employment. It's just that some citizens don't know where to go to go to work. And I will educate them, but I will address your job happiness issue. Yes, I will, I will address the fact that you don't know how to get to work. Praising a faction. Now, we had a nun last episode pop up, and we didn't do her thing. And they're probably a little fussy about that. So... Why don't we... We're going to say that we're going to address religious issues. We're going to praise the religious faction here. Impossibly not with a great deal of sincerity, but let's just keep the nuns on our good side for right now. Blame a superpower. Well, oh, ooh, dear. Um, the Axis powers are pretty keen on us, and the Allies aren't. So... I, I don't really care who comes out the winner in the world war because we're basically Switzerland here in Tropico. We don't care so long as the money keeps flowing. So if the allies already hate us, they can continue to hate us. They can hate us even more. We will absolutely promise improvement. That's all we do. As your leader, all I want to do is improve things here in the glorious free state of Tropico. Food apparently is not one of them. Um, you're all okay with food. Crime safety, well, we do only have the one police station, but let's, um, let, let's, let's promise improvement in housing. How about housing? We, I will build you more houses. That's what I will do. Deliver my election speech, please. There we go. Well, Eric von Strom has decided to pop up in the middle of my speech, which is very rude. Very, very rude, Eric. 
But you did acknowledge that we fulfilled your trade route with you, with the Axis powers. We, we sent you coconuts, apparently. You guys are swimming in coconuts now. It's very rude of you to interrupt my election speech, but I am pleased about that because now we can get a reward for doing the thing with you with the coconuts and sending them off to Mussolini and whatnot. 2,000 bucks. Well, we just got a bunch of money for completing the trade route. I don't really need that right now, nor do I specifically need the immigrants. What I really need is blueprints. Because the blueprints is where we're pouring money and unlocking all of these buildings. So I will take a random blueprint, and if you'd like to let me go ahead and finish my speech, I see we got the blueprint for the prison. Citizens of Tropico, worry about the crocodile farm, worry about the prison even more. Well, speech delivered. Let's see how we could spend that money a little better. I am mildly concerned, speaking of full employment, I am mildly concerned that many of our industrial buildings are not getting stocked. And I feel it might be time for a third Teamsters office so we can get stuff delivered from A to B. And going up here, going up into the mountains here, up into the hills, if I were, say, to build a road sort of here-ish, like there, what if we put a beautiful new Teamsters office right up here, right where the things are that you need to get? So what if we parked that right next to, what is this again? The tobacco plantation. Yeah, get the tobacco and, and bring it places and, and bring bring the sugar places. Dear God, bring the sugar to the rum distillery. That's constantly out of stock. And while we are addressing the housing needs of our beautiful and beloved people of Tropico, let's actually build them some more houses. How about we had one apartment up here, um, sort of there-ish. Yeah, let's, let's make that a little cockeyed there. I, I love the organic nature of building the city in Tropico. It really plays to what I want out of a city builder. And how about maybe a bunkhouse mm, here? There we go. Housing needs, I got you covered, glorious citizens of Tropico. Now, while those are getting dealt with, while we get some builders over there to deal with that, I really feel we need to be making way more money here in the glorious free state of Tropico, and we're not doing that with what we got right now. We could throw up some more industrial buildings. We could possibly take advantage of the crocodile farm as less of a threat to our citizens and more of a producing things. What would that be exactly? If we go to industry, is that tannery? Produce processes hides, I would assume that's what we're getting from crocodiles. Apart from a vague threat to our citizens, I would assume we're getting hides from the crocodiles. So a tannery would not go amiss. We already have one up here. And you're empty of stock. Well, we're working on the Teamsters office for that. That'll all be fine. But in terms of money, one commenter did remind me as we were starting Tropico 6 that we have a rich, rich bounty of gold on this island. We have tons of gold over here. We've just got to get to it. That's the problem. And there's going to be some things in our way that we need to sort of build an infrastructure to do that. I think the number one thing, if I'm remembering correctly, is the Teamster port. Okay, so that enables Teamsters to transport goods to other islands, and then the landing allows citizens and tourists to get into boats. So I would assume we'd need both. We'd need the Teamster port to get stuff over there, and we'd need the landing to get human beings over there to work on the eventual gold mines that we will put over there, and possibly another crocodile farm. I haven't ruled that out. Now, um, uh, uh, things. Um, politics. Yes, politics, please. First, get me to trade, because if we fulfilled that trade contract, that must mean, we, yeah, we've got another one kicking around. Great. Who can we send? What can we send? To whom? We could send cotton to Mussolini. Not bad. 1,300 some odd per 1k units. Yeah, sure. Go, go ahead and send that off. Send that off. And then we did... Oh, hi, Winton. Winton, hi. I'm, I'm kind of doing a thing right now. You want an allied trade route. Okay. Are we... I believe we're working on that. Political consequences of failure, a blockade. Wow. 
went and ain't playing. Okay. Um, I think we're working on that. That's fine. Um, yeah, so go away, and I'm going to go back and look at trade, Winton. It's all cool. It's all fine. Uh, shellfish to the Axis, tobacco to the Axis, cotton to the Axis. Okay, we're actually not doing anything to the Allies. All right. Penalty for canceling this is minus five points with the Axis powers, but I've got a plan for that. Sorry, guys, you're not getting any cotton because I need to send something to the British, apparently. Um, what, what can we possibly... I don't really want a blockade. That sounds like a terrible idea. Um, do you guys want anything? You, you literally want nothing. I could theoretically send you weapons, but at an enormous, enormous loss. I, I would be sending them... Actually, it's not that much... It's, it's a fair bit of money. It's a fair bit of money. I mean, the Axis will be really miffed about that, but they kind of wicked like us right now. Is there really nothing I can send? Okay, here we go. No, that's importing. I want to export things. I, I appreciate that the importing would fulfill the trade contract, but I don't need anything from you guys. I want to send you things. There we go. Meat. It's a loss. Probably because we've already sent them meat and it was rotten when they got there. But yeah, send some meat to the British. They'll, they'll dig that sort of thing. Right. Okay, so don't blockade me. Now, back to politics. Because that was the whole point of this exercise. Um, we need to invite somebody to the embassy. Now, what do we got going on here? The, the allies... Get, get, get me out of here and go to my politics. There we go. Uh, yeah, the allies aren't wicked keen on us. At all. Probably because we sent all our coconuts to Adolf. But I'm kind of... Yeah, the Axis love us. They really do. The Axis powers just absolutely love us. I think we just got to keep that going. I, I don't care who wins the war. I am only concerned with the beautiful citizens of Tropico and improving your lives. Uh, Tropico has ceased trading with his major superpower. Uh, did, did we... Do we not do the thing with the allies? Never mind. Um, we're going to invite the Axis to come and hang out at our embassy. Yeah, uh, absolutely do that, please. Uh, and and praise them while we're here. Yeah, praise them while we're here. Can we have financial aid? Requires relation 71. I, I'm pretty sure we've got that. Oh, yeah, um, we've totally got that. Can we have some money? Yes, we can. We can have $20,000. And we can do that again in 60 months. Yay! Um, re request alliance? Are we going to really cuddle up to Hitler here in Tropico? Hey, you know what? One's as good as another. Both their guns shoot the same. Some alliance. Okay. Um, some say there remain nations unconquered. The fatherland is incomplete. Prolong your independence. Okay. So you're kind of a little bit threatening there. Finish loot, have a pirate cove, and expel Axis from embassy. Um... Set diplomatic state of access to alliance. I thought I just did that. I'm pretty sure I just did that. Why would I want to... Oh, don't expel the Axis from the embassy. Sorry, it's been a very long day for El Presidente Eric von Schramm. So don't do that. Okay, finish looting. Yeah, we can do that. We can totally do that. Oh, Penultimo. Penultimo. Um, I have a job for you. Pirate Penultimo. Uh, yeah, you're treasure hunting... And you're rescuing educated. That's good. Treasure hunt some more. But you actually take that out. Take that out. We need to loot. Apparently. We need to loot. I do... What do we need? Bananas, hides, and iron. Coffee, corn, and gold. That sounds good. Coal, logs, and pineapple. Uh, just keep doing the gold. Keep keep doing the gold all the time. Yeah, go, go ahead and get on that. Uh, where are you at with that, by the way? Uh, oh, you're on your way back. Cool. Uh, treasure hunting. Great. Super. Um, we've got some money. We should we should build things here in Tropico. Well, I have promised my citizens education. I have said we will be the most educated citizens in the world. So let's take the money from the Axis powers and get the blueprint for the high school and build one. We will be the most educated citizens in the world. Our citizens will lack for nothing in terms of education. Let's just squeeze that right down here, right sort of centrally located to all the housing. And my glorious citizens of Tropico flock 
to the new high school. Send your children to the new high school. We must become educated. We must lead the world in education. So go ahead and do that. And if a few of you could go um, shuffle some goods around while you're doing it, the less educated ones of you, if you could shuffle some goods around while you're doing it, I surely would appreciate that. Well, with the freighter that just came in that dropped off a little bit of money, I should continue to improve on my election promises of more housing here in Tropico. Possibly people need to live near the crocodile farm. I feel... I feel that's appropriate because we don't have the prison yet, so I do need to remind people that we have a crocodile farm, and indeed that fence is by no means crocodile proof. You, sir, who are you? Come come here, come here. Oh, Emily Van Beek, who again has stumbled into the wrong island, um, I just need you to be aware that you're by the crocodile farm and that fence is not crocodile proof. I, I, could, I could kill you, but I think the crocodiles will do it for me. Let's build some more housing here. I do want my citizens to be well housed. Do, do we... Yeah, another apartment I think would be good. Sort of here-ish, right by the power plant. Again, just delightful. It's a lovely place to live. And a bunkhouse right here. Put that down. Get that built. How are we doing on moving goods from A to B? I'm not seeing any out-of-stock things. So that's good. My citizens have figured out how to get things from A to B. That's good. Now, back to the gold issue. Why don't we get that infrastructure at least started? Not really going to be able to do much with it now, but let's... How much is a Teamster port? Quite inexpensive, actually. Relatively inexpensive. Let's just put that down with the other ports. That makes sense. I do like the little dock area that's starting to build up here. It looks really cool. So let's just start with that. We'll start building the basic infrastructure that we need, citizens of Tropico, to get from A to B. Because there are gold in them thar hills over here. And we want that. Well, more to the point, other countries want that. Aha, another freighter pulls in with a cool $27,000. Yes, Tropico is a rich and bountiful land, and the world is paying for it. So let's keep that basic infrastructure going down here. Citizens, we are on a quest to reach the next island. This will totally happen. How about a, a landing? Do we want a landing? Or should we just start with the Teamster port? Is that the smartest thing I can do? What we really need is a bridge. What we really need, citizens of Tropico, is a bridge from A to B. Unfortunately, this area over here looks super rocky. I bet I can't get a bridge here. I'm sure the um, hi, Penultimo, hi. Uh, I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you. Of course they do. I have an 80% approval rating. And the other 20% are people who may or may not need to be made aware of the crocodile farm. Do we subtly pre-adjust the ballots? No, no, no. No, Penultimo. The citizens of Tropico love me. They love me. 80% of them love me, and 20% of them are going to be moved to the crocodile farm. Allow them to vote freely. We will absolutely allow them to vote freely. Now, back to the bridge issue. In my sort of fussing around with this, my little experimentation with um, Tropico when I, before I started recording the series, bridges are fussy in that they only want to end up in, in certain places. And I bet this rocky area over here ain't going to cut it. But maybe if we can get it from here over to here, I'm going to fuss with this a little bit. I'm just going to fuss with this and see where the bridge wants to live before I commit to the rest of the infrastructure. No, not quite as fussy as I thought. It will actually comfortably go over the rocks. In fact, it, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Let's get it, though. Uh, I'm trying to get a the cheapest bridge I can get here. 1900. Yeah, then we're back into the, into the 2000s. Okay, build me a bridge over here for right now. Just for right now. That'll be fine. Probably just really made the whole... Teamsters landing irrelevant, but it's all going to be good. We've got other islands to go to here in Tropico, so don't worry about it. And I'm telling people to buy war bonds. Really, really smart stuff there. I don't actually know that the Axis powers had war bonds. Um, oh, I like that little bridge. I like that a lot. That looks really neat. I'm keeping that. 
I'm keeping that little bit of the bridge. Oh, and it's got a sign. What does the sign say? What, what does the sign say? To Monumento this way. Or Tropico Land this way. Oh, I do like the little bridge. That's nice. I love the little signs. Just little touches in Tropico. I really... This is why I keep playing the Tropico series. Just these tiny little touches here and there. All right. All right. Citizens of Tropico. Here's the thing. Gold. Gold mine. Now, where where exactly is that? Again, show me my show me my overlays. Uh, gold is oh right by the bridge, right by the bridge. Citizens of Tropico, we're gonna have some gold. Give me a mine. Give me a gold mine, right here, right here. There we go. And I will build you a road to that momentarily, Teamsters. You gotta move here. Actually, builders, you gotta move. But Teamsters, you're gonna be moving fairly soon to get the gold that we're going to harvest out of here. Perfect. All right, off you go, folks. And they're off. They're off. They're going across the bridge. Yeah, I kind of feel that that Teamsters landing may have been largely irrelevant, but that will have uses later. It will be fine. It'll be totally fine. And oh, oh, hi, hi, Penultimo. Yes, convincing election victory. Nobody is surprised by that. 195 loyal Tropicans voted for you. 30 individuals voted for your rival. Well, A, who is my rival? Because Crocodile Farm. B, do we have the names of the 30 individuals, Penultimo? Because Crocodile Farm. And eventually prison. Speaking of prison, the Gold Island would actually be a great place for the prison. That'd be super. Um, I don't feel... No, I'm, I'm comfortable with the Constitution as is. Obviously, all citizens voting worked out great because we, we have been comfortably re-elected. And I, I'm going to keep militia as our armed forces. I don't think we need to really change the Constitution of Tropico. However, Gold Island might be a... S oh, Winton, I'm addressing my people. I am addressing my people. Fulfill import trade. We're, oh, you want an import trade now. Okay, you want an import trade. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do, Winton. I will see what I can do. It's the, it's, uh, the blockade sounds really terrible, but, but, oh, Penultimo, Penultimo, I'm, I'm trying to do a thing here, Penultimo. Build residential buildings. I'm totally actually going to be working on that. That's what I was going to focus on, Penultimo. If you just get out of my face and let me do my job and find the names of those 30 citizens, if you could, please. Okay, so the, um, the whole trade agreement thing. We got 527 days to do an import trade with the allies, or they're going to blockade us. Well, if I cancel the export trade I've got, then that's just more penalties. How? We, we can't possibly, they can't possibly be doing well with us. Yeah, they're at 14 right now. The allies pretty much hate us here in Tropico. It's probably because we're about to exploit all this gold. Um, but... Uh, okay, do I cancel one with the Axis powers? Oh, no, something just became available. We just finished something. Super. Good. Perfect. Um, import, I don't even care. What, what do you got that I don't have? Uh, cloth might not be bad, actually. Cheese? Do we want British cheese? Uh, it's not British cheese. I think that's Venezuela. All right, give me anything from... There we go. Canned goods. All right, I'll take your canned goods. I make my own canned goods, thank you, but I'll take your canned goods. Now, if everyone would stop fussing with El Presidente, he could get some stuff done around here. Number one, housing over here. Let's get an apartment uh, there and a bunkhouse here, right by the gold mine. Perfect. Now, you guys are probably going to be wicked fussy over here. You know what you're going to need grocery store. You are going to need a grocery store over here. Public services. Because you're going to be pretty far away from the whole food thing, aren't you? Can I build right on top of that Incan Mayan thing there? Apparently I can. Let's see if we can save that. Alright, so you can have a grocery store there. We're going to build a little sub-town. This is going to be the gold mining town. This is where you guys are going to live. Ah, yes, the gold mine is finally up and running and the town is coming together over here. But my thought is this, citizens of Tropico. 
The gold mine is here. We are now extracting gold from our beautiful state of Tropico where we have bountiful resources. But if I were an invading force or possibly some misinformed, misguided citizens, I'd probably be shooting right for the gold mine. That seems like a really soft target over there. Some low-hanging fruit, if you will. So this would be a great time, a fantastic time, to fulfill the army base requirement. What if the army base lived near the gold mine? I think that might deter people even more than the crocodile farm might. Speaking of farming, wouldn't kill us to have some food over here. What's, um, what's in the area? What's, uh, what could we, we wanted to put, say, a plantation here. What have we got? Corn, not bad. Bananas, mm, could find a spot for that. Pineapples, eh, not so much with the pineapples. Uh, rubber, actually, I'm, we don't have a rubber plantation. It's not technically food. You know what, let's just get some more food. Citizens of Tropico, you will be well fed. I will make sure of this. Uh, actually, we, we kind of need some money first, but for right now, just put, put the corn plantation down. And how are we doing on housing happiness? Oh, the houses are still being built. Okay, that's fine. Penultimo, don't worry about the housing thing. I've got it all under control. Once the army base is up and I feel that citizens of Tropico can extract gold without fear, then we'll work on some more houses. Yes, General Rodriguez, it may have taken me a few years, but I have built your army base. And right in time for the gold mine to be operational and the corn farm to be up and running. So General Rodriguez, Welcome to your new base. Now, I, I don't really care about the plus five militarist standing. I really want the money. We're, we're not poor here in Tropico. We're not poor. What we have done is redirected our funding to other important areas of Tropico, like my Swiss bank account and the crocodile farm. So um, there's your base, General Rodriguez. There's the gold mine. Try and put two and two together here and figure out that I want you to guard the gold mine. And if you've got time to check in on the corn plantation, that's cool too. That, that'd be fine. But that's probably a good spot to leave it on Tropico 6 Beta for today. I am basically going to jump right into recording another episode immediately after this and see as much of this as I can before the beta closes. But we'll end it here and pick it up again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button and see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.